Hey man, I am changing my range sensor. Um, I think this is the cause for no start. Um, this is the old one. This is my new one. And this piece right here helps us align it up uh, with uh, this part right here. Um, so uh, let's get her in. Now everything look exactly uh, the same. Um, yeah. So guys, I thought I hit the nail in the coffin with this one after finding the terminals and all that all messed up, uh, causing a no start condition. Uh, however, it was pretty easy getting this bad boy off. Wasn't complicated or anything. As you can see, I'm really going slow uh, with prying it off. And y'all going to see how these uh, terminals and stuff uh, look inside. Um, my truck is, however, um, stuck in second. So y'all will see. But look at these uh, terminals right here. I see I don't have none at all. It's just weird how I was having uh, an indicator, though. But I don't uh, now, which is weird. Y'all let me know what y'all think uh, below. Uh, like I said, all my ground's good. All my fuse is good. Connections and all that is good. Um, I think the truck is like electronically in limp mode. Um, it's stuck. It says it's in uh, second gear, and we know that's uh, not right. So I guess whenever I talk to the tuner, we can, uh, I guess, have it adjusted. I told him, but maybe I just got to see him in person and stuff. But anyway, look at the new one. They got the fresh new terminals compared uh, to the old one. The motherfucker's gone. All right, anyway, let me slide this on. I think. All right, guys, so we got our new range sensor on. Uh, this is the alignment tool right here. Um, it just slid on real easy. Um, just had to make sure I was careful. You can adjust it. I might have mine about right there. But if you do have to adjust it, you just got to loosen this up. And then the back side. I don't have the middle bolt. I think that usually be right here for you to adjust. I'm not sure. Anyway, we're going to make sure it's in part. All that little good stuff. So guys, that could have been our cause the first place. So, well, I'm glad I got a new battery, but still, always make sure you go thorough before, uh, for everything. I made sure this time, but we don't we don't know if it's gonna start. <laughs> so hopefully, fingers crossed. All right, guys, we went from this. We got the terminals. Uh, to the brand new gear selector or range sensor. Uh, obviously, this kept me from cranking over. I had to jump uh, pin 87 and 30 uh, at the fuse uh, block, but we don't have to do that no more. But we're going to see if she start up right on the dime. I mean, this truck is bulletproof, engine bulletproof. Um, yeah. All right, guys, so from here, I got to get uh, another type of fuse, like the same type of fuse. So I had to uh, come up with something temporarily. Uh, this is for a positive, um, it's for the positive uh, post. But anyway, this relay right here, I jumped from uh, pin 87 to 30 because apparently the thing couldn't turn over. But now, officially, let's try it. We got the key. All right. Going from park, reverse, neutral, drive. Three, two, one. All right, moment of truth, man. I'm kind of scared. 
All right, moment of truth. Like I said, I'm kind of scared. Uh, still not. Still fucking nothing. <clears throat> All right, guys, it's literally about like 1 a.m. I'm still going at it. So if I go to transmission, I can look at all sorts of things like the uh, trans fluid. I've got 82. Um, go back to trans. We're gonna look at current gear. See, it's in second gear. Now, mind you, I had a fight getting the indicator back on. We you know, we we got it. I had redid the uh, gear select to make sure it was lined up. And uh, I took left to shift cable off, and I went from park all the way down. Um, but now I got an indicator. Oh, it should have been reverse. Uh, I think it's slacking. It was just working a few moments ago. Okay, that's weird. It was just working a few moments ago. It was just working a few moments ago. Can I even make this up? Yeah. Man, what the hell? It was just working a few moments ago. That's so weird. The indicator thing came out. Reverse. Neutral. Drive one. Yeah, either I take it back and get a new one or try to calibrate it if y'all know how to calibrate it. It was just, it, I went through all the gears and the indicator uh, listed it. So I got part, no indicator, reverse. So guys, I thought we'd be able to crank it over as you can see. Realistically, I don't have no indicator now. I should have left the rain sensor as it is. The thing is officially like just reality stuck in uh, second gear until we do the segment swap. That's the only thing. For any other pin drop, thinking about uh, taking the uh, other switch back and just replacing it and just placing the new one uh, in like how it's supposed to and leave it alone. I'm wondering sometime. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I mean, we, the thing was all messed up, the terminals inside. Um, it's just weird, man. It's really weird. I guess I'm just too excited, and I'm just ready to get the truck done. But, you know, things take time. Um, and just, I, I just got to be patient. I am patient. I don't know. I'm just so eager, like, to get this truck running. I thought I could just crank it over without that but the thing clearly indicating on here is in a uh, second well when the key is on the off position it changes the you see it changes the second and i've been had this thing this thing pretty good pretty very accurate so i mean somebody said check all my grounds all my grounds and stuff good all my fuse is good I uh, haven't checked anything in this area because I already know I don't want to. What the hell is this? Oh, yeah. Anyway, that's it, though. I hope you have a good one.